Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Nothing Harder. Today, we are taking a look at Link. If you don't know what the show's about, it's where I take every single character from Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and play the classic mode at 9.0 intensity. As you can see in the bottom left corner, Nothing Harder is the level that we're playing at today. So we're choosing Link right away. Uh, that was a little weird, a little lag right there. It doesn't matter, it must be my recording. Shouldn't be an issue. So we're gonna go on, Wario's the first guy. As you'll probably realize, a pattern that I try and follow by is that I try and play with um, against enemies who are just by themselves because it's easier to. It's basically the main reason it's easier. If you have more than one enemy, they tend to team up on you. Even though they're not on the same team, they just team up on you and accidentally hit each other. So this is the second episode, DK was the first one. It's not a trend that I'm doing characters that were in the original N64 game. Just It just turned out this way. I decided to choose Link this week because he's a character I haven't really played as. So I thought it would be more of a challenge. Uh, I know he's pretty good in the game compared to other characters. Like DK is considered the worst, that's why I chose to, to start him off at first. And uh, you see, you'll see I didn't, didn't have as many fails as DK, obviously. So I chose, uh, or I got lucky here and got the Dragoon, so I could just take out Wario pretty simply, not too long into the game. One of the one thing that bothered me is um, when it comes to the way the lives system works in this game, because in the original games you choose how many lives you'd play with, and you'd have that many lives, and every time you die, one of those lives would be deducted. So. You have to choose five lives, and then you have a total of five lives over the entire classic mode. Whereas in this one, you always have two lives every time you join a match. Now, I'm, I'm still torn at which one I prefer, to be honest, because the benefit of this one is that it's better for, I'd say, people who tend to die more because... Excuse me, obviously you have overall, you get overall more lives, it, that being two times however many you're doing, which is, add, add, that adds up to more than two, or more than five overall. Uh, but the downside is that if you are playing spectacularly and you, ne and you don't die a single time, you don't get rewarded for that. Which is exactly, which, which is kind of a shame because one of the matches I played, and I just got met with that up tilt there, one of the matches that I did play, I managed to breeze through the entire thing. I got really lucky, got some really good meteor spikes, and then just one of them, I just died twice at like the very end. So it's it's kind of annoying, kind of like frustrating that you're not rewarded for doing really well in the previous rounds. You, it's really just like each round is a step, and you can't like you you can only okay. I don't even know where I was going for that comparison, but essentially each round is its own thing. There's no real correlation between the two rounds. You can't, except for the fighters that you defeat, there's no connection between each round in classic mode. So, you know, you know, it's like, there's some pros and cons to that. Definitely the other modes uh, prior in Brawl and, what's it called, Melee, they have, and, and I think N64 too, they had, uh, like, different games, quote, 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 in between rounds as well. So that's an added correlation, or added correlation, maybe that's not the word I'm looking for, but essentially, the main point is that this this feels really disjointed. There's only battles too, which is kind of a shame. I, I really liked the, what's it called? What's the, Katari Smashes, Trophy, Grab the Trophy, I believe, from Melee. It, there was just like a, it just felt like more of like a, Campaign and lack thereof. Oh, and watch this by the way. This is a really cool clip that I got. I've never seen this before. So it's right here. My Eevee got the kill. Eevee's literally a Pokemon that is not meant to do much damage, essentially. So it's like literally the description is that it just jumps around and is kind of irritating. It's basically like the Goldeen, but can have a purpose, like as you saw right there. It actually managed to take out Bowser Jr. So, good on you, good on you, um, good on you, Eevee. Without even evolved form, you're doing really well. So, uh, let's talk about let's talk about Link a little bit here, because this is a pretty slow match right here. Kirby tend like really loved um, 
jumping out of the way and stuff. It looks like it got a little lag there too. I'm sorry if I mentioned lag and it's not actually in the final build, but um, in, the, in the final video, but I, I see sometimes lags in this playback. But yeah, Kirby. Let's talk about Kirby. He, uh, he is annoying in this match. Essentially, he's just, just shielding a lot. Generally, a lot of them don't shield. But, you know, he, he, obviously, you can guess, he does eventually get taken out. So, Link, though. Link has a lot of stuff in literally his arsenal, which is which consists of a bomb, a uh, bow and arrow, a boomerang, a hook shot. And I did take him out with that sword, which I thought was pretty cool. So, yeah, he's pretty resourceful, and so, uh, that makes it very not too challenging to take out some of these enemies, some of the some of the CPUs. Because I can just throw stuff at them and make it very long range. Compared to Donkey Kong, which I did last week, Donkey Kong is all close range. Which is very, like, can be really... Well, at least Donkey Kong hits really hard because uh, that means it's he's really good up close. Whereas Link, he can uh, you can do a lot of damage from basically any distance. Well, not, well, not a lot, but... You can do decent damage here. And, by the way, let's go Skyloft here as well. This is just an annoying map because you're not sure which ledge you can grab onto, which, pretty sure it's just the edges. So even if you destroy the, the building, as you saw there, I tried to grab onto the the piece, though, like, the inner side of a piece. The gap made a, like a, there was a gap, basically. I tried to grab onto a piece inside, but obviously you can't. You can only grab onto the ones that are actually a side piece. Hopefully that made sense. I just realized thinking as I was saying that, that may not make a lot of sense. But yeah, definitely, I'm not super a big fan of Skyworld. Uh, you bounce around a lot, it's kinda, it's kinda weird. But I did die early off while fighting, fighting this Sheik, and Sheik is a very good character. She can rack up damage very quickly, and I'm not even sure about all of Sheik's custom moves. So I wasn't sure, um, I wasn't sure how this was going to go well, especially since I died early on. But she, I did uh, rack up 102%, and I just didn't want to lose my uh, my Dragoon piece there. Because if I did, then that would not be good news. I would just get killed by the Dragoon, which is a, would be a terrible way to go. Which has happened before. A lot. Like, not a lot, but it has happened before, essentially. And, you know, I just get lucky, and then she kills herself. So, you know, kind of an anticlimactic ending of just that battle, though. So we're keep on going, and next up we have obviously the me fighting team, fighting me team, I believe, fighting me team. Yes, fighting me team. They're cool. Again, they uh, they can pick up items, grab ledges, use special moves. So they're not too challenging to take on. Just the fact that there's five of them at the same time can be overwhelming if you, unless if you don't know what you're doing. I found that the up uh, up smash would does, has a lot of range. It covers. Bat the forward and to the side of you of Link, so it was super easy to take them out. Uh, I but again, items do kind of scare me, and I didn't know until after this that they can't pick up items. They can't interact with them though. But these so these bombs are kind of making me nervous because, I mean, like they could accidentally hit them, and then that that could set them off. So I kind of wanted to make that my priority to um to get rid of them, but luckily. One of them I just use and the other one disappears. I actually didn't realize it at this point right here. Went for it, but oh, it's gone. So also, um, an easy me strategy is to just go grab an edge and then wait for them to come and begin do a get-up attack and it can really space them out if you're having any trouble at all. It's definitely a lot different than, um, different a lot different, I did die, which kind of sucked, but it was definitely a lot different than DK where you just kind of stay still and they come to you and die with some exceptions like the me gunners. But they're, again, easy enough. Link makes easy work of them. I mean, Link is actually a pretty good character, I'd say. He is probably uh, in the higher half of the roster, which that is pretty good considering how many characters there are exactly. But here we go. Finally, the final round, round seven. And I did make it here before without actually completing it, but we're going to see... This, well, you'll find out. Who knows what will happen? So, ma Mastering Crazy Hand, I always try to get through them without taking any damage, and I've already failed that right there, as you can see, I'm at 12%. I found these balls. I could have been launching my projectiles at them, but I decided just not to. I decided to just shield them, just to play it a little safe. 
I had gone there before. I had been playing it for a while, maybe about an hour or two, hour and a half. He uses the lasers, which is obviously suicide for him. I don't think, like, I, I've never found that, like, a challenge. Oh, a little bit of lag there, too, but, you know, everyone knows what happens here. So, I'm launching arrows for some reason. I was trying to see if you could do a B reversal with arrows. You can't. So, the more you know. So, these hands, they're, you know, easy to, easy to dodge. This, this guy, I find I know all his moves pretty well. And he has a lot of build-up to them, so he's not actually that big of a deal to take out. And there's a little another bit of lag there, but who cares, really? So he's... and I didn't know he'd stop grab, like, he'd turn around that quickly, so... Whatever, he got, he grabbed me. I'm at a pretty high percentage, but... It's really hypocritical. Actually, I'm saying that he's pretty predictable. Or he is predictable, because he lines up every single move, and if you know how to avoid it, then you're fine. This Master Beast, though, is a different story. I don't know why it's getting so laggy on my screen right now. Hopefully it's not. Uh, but this Master Beast is a different story because he has a lot of very quick moves, and some of them can be really quick. So Link's special uh, smash attacks, they can do a lot of damage. Or, sorry, they can have a lot of buildup and, like, wind down. I'm not sure what the correct term is. I did die there, so but that's normal. Master Beast normally takes me out. So, but uh, Link, like I was saying, Link has a lot of um, a lot of moves that leave him vulnerable. That's what I'm looking for. So, unfortunately, if you have that's the case, then like you know, you're gonna if he can counter with a really quick move. Same with his blade, the Master Blade, I believe. I'm just trying. I'm just guessing, making trying to make sense of it. But um, he has one move that is an instant, and it's a knockout move too. So, it is really bad news if you... Because you have almost no time to protect yourself against this. This, I almost died. That was the move I was talking about right there. It, there's a little... You get a tiny little flash. And if you're do, try, like attacking him at all, you are done. So, Master Blade out of the way. Time for ma Master Shadow, maybe? That's probably it. So, it, basically, if he gets me with one smash attack, I, it's that's game. So, I'm in really defensive playing right now. The, uh, the final b battle really is different, and like I was saying earlier, there's no correlation between uh, any of the stages, so this really, everything comes down to this, essentially. No matter how well you're doing before, this determines the entire match, whether you're going to make it or not. So I did take out Master Shadow at 122%. The percentage doesn't matter, only the lives do, as you do get a max a heart container, which happens to be from Legend of Zelda, which our friend Link here is from. So going through, as I learned, and definitely for those of you who wanted to do this as well, take out those guys with the lasers. That is so important. The lasers make you not able to move. If they get you, they can go through walls, and they are just overall very annoying. So my one piece of advice for doing Master Fortress, definitely do those lasers. Those guys that shoot the lasers. I'm ignoring it here, which you'll see is a big mistake, because look, it just gets you, and then there's two of them, and I just rack up a lot of damage. I tried to do an up smash, which worked last time, but unfortunately not. That's not going to be the case. But I do take out the first section of him. Who knows why? I just shouldn't shoot an arrow, though, Chikiro. Uh, who knows why it sends you back here, but maybe it's a think you've, think you've conquered it, but nope. But here we go. Final stage. Here we go. Off Final Destination into Master Fortress. Here goes Link. Very. I just ignore the Skeletos. I just kill him because he can really mess me up and here we go the outside one try and t take him out with my up special doesn't quite do it but i'm gonna take him up right here with my another up special grab the edge get ready to go down the hoarder i'm waiting just jump like crouching uncrouching and here we go so leaving there avoiding all those danger zones the skulls are screw those guys and he does get me there so i'm just I I just ignoring them they can't do anything once i pass them get him with a dash attack there to avoid taking just avoid taking damage. Take out this guy. Again, you just need to take out those guys with the laser. I'm going to try and find their name for the next time. But just take him out. Got one. And there's one guy that chills right there. I'm just going to take him out too. Before he pro proves to be a threat. Now I'm in the clear. There's almost no enemies. And I'm just trying to take him out. Use the up smash. I see another one right there. So I'm just trying to go as fast as possible. Unfortunately, didn't make it. So now as you see, I'm at 78% right here. And... Managed to grab him with another up smash. That was very close because another one spawned below me, and if I didn't manage to get him, 
it would just not be able to I would I would have lost almost like pretty pretty sure I would have lost but here we go I'm just gonna wail on this helpless massacre and I'm gonna say thanks for watching guys I'm gonna leave you all with the fail compilation it's there are a few it's not too too long but we're gonna end it there with this episode of nothing harder for link Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment on this video, and I'll see you guys next week with the next video. Bye, guys.